So we head back to the fighting 40s, named so due to that war thing that was happening. And there's this guy called Steve Rogers who wants to fight Nazis. But he's too scrawny to fight Nazis, so he's a bit bummed out. Fortunately, a scientist based on Einstein lists him in a military training camp. And Steve shows that though he is small, he is fierce. Well, maybe not fierce, but he is brave and pure of heart. So Einstein gives him some magic science potion to turn him into a super soldier. Unfortunately, Einstein is killed and he didn't write the formula down so Steve will be the only one of his kind. He was kind of the reverse of Dr. Henry Jones from Last Crusade. I wrote them down in my diary so that I wouldn't have to remember. The war honchos believe that a man with super strength is the bestest boy and just wants to fight Nazis would be ill-suited on the battlefield, so he said he's put to work on the stage as Captain America to serve as pro-US propaganda. This reflects what happens in real life with the Captain America comic book celebrating the US Army and encourages citizens to buy bonds. No joke here, I just thought it was neat. Cap goes from entertaining the civilians back home to entertaining the troops at the front and finds out his best mate Bucky Barnes has been captured by Nazis. With help from special agent Peggy Carter and Iron Man's dad Howard Stark, he storms the prison and rescues everyone held there. Everyone is all, that was awesome! We should put a team together and do more awesome stuff to take down Hydra. Hydra being an offshoot of the Nazis and who's somehow more evil and devoted to taking over the world through the magic of blowy cubes. Our heroes beat up the Hydra Jerry's good and proper, but unfortunately on one mission Bucky is killed with some more superhero angst. Or is he? Uh, for now he is, it'll be a while before he crops up again. Eventually, Cap has the final confrontation with Red Skull, leader of Hydra, but the latter is vaporised by aforementioned Glowy Cube. Or is he? Again, it'll be a while before he crops back up. Cap now has to save the world from a bunch of bombs and reads the best way to do this is to face plant himself the ice for 70 years. He wakes up to find out he's not in Kansas anymore. And Nick Fury's there too. Captain America is here to save the day. Not even Elrond or Dorby can stand in his way.